Step in the box, baseball fans. Here we are on Tuesday. Went out. Was checking, looking for some Bowman. Hoping some Bowman would be on the shelves at some local targets that are close. No luck there, but found a couple of the opening day mega boxes, which I like with they have the reds. And then it was the last Gypsy Queen hanger pack. And uh, I have a rule. If there's only one of a product that I like, I'm going to buy it. So let's step in the box. Let's have a good time. Let's get these open. Let's do this. Another rainy day here. Crappy rainy day. So let's start with these uh, green parallels. Exclusive to the hanger packs. I believe the greens are uh, trying to get this thing open without bending up the corners here. The greens are exclusive to the hanger packs and their silvers in the bigger boxes this year. Reese Hoskins, Chris Archer, and Williams. So those are a bust. No Louis Robert on that one, or Lux or Alvarez. Okay, here we go. Pack number one of these. Buxton. Santana, rookie Lazardo, not bad. Check for, we got Rogers. Just kind of checking for the GQ logo and the missing nameplate. And I'm not sure where the hits come in here. Looking for some high numbers and some bazooka backs. Just looking at that Rogers. What's the code on these? 42. So everything's everything's normal there. Nothing good. Gypsy Queen's one of those sets that you got to like looking at and uh, searching. That's one of the reasons I do like Gypsy Queen is uh, there's a lot of cool nuance. Like, so here we go. We have a missing nameplate. That is Zach Gallon. Rookie card. And there's a Lux rookie card. I should have top loaded that. So there's a good rookie card. Let me top load that other one too while I'm at it. So who knows with this card, it's probably not worth anything right now. Pitchers, pitchers don't get me excited. So there's a couple decent cards. Last one. All right. We got Paul Goldschmidt. And we got Chris Bryant. Cool, I don't have this card, so that's gonna go on my PC. Chris Bryant. So nothing really going on in that little opening of GQ. Not surprised at all. Couple, couple cards though. The Lux card's pretty nice. And then the missing nameplate. So not a total failure. All right. Again, I like these boxes right here. Opening day this year has been pretty good. I'm gonna just cut that open. Get the seal off both of these. Opening day compared to how it's been in the past. One, the rookies are really good in this. Two, they added some red foils in these, which I really like. They bring some pretty darn good value for the parallels. Um, there's seven in each one. And then uh, you have the Louis Robert short print, which is what we really want to hit. If you want to see the Louis Robert, if you missed my other videos, Louis Robert short print, about a $50 card. And that one was so beat up that it's, I don't even know if it's worth anything. Go check my other video. I appreciate if you like, subscribe, shared. I'm trying to grow the channel. I'm pretty basic, but I'm having fun. Let's put that there. Open this up. That way we can get these things out of the way. 
leave the reds for last. All right, I'm gonna start on this side right here. You get a lot of cards in these. Not saying they're good cards, but we'll see if this stays true with, uh, with the distribution of the inserts. So like Screech here, let's see what happens here. Aquino, first good rookie. There's one, you get quite a few of these guys in here. Like I said, the rookie class with Aquino, Horner, Lux, Bichette, Jordan Alvarez. Pretty good looking rookie class right off the bat. So I'm gonna put this right here. When I get the inserts, the distribution has been really weird in, a, in opening day. I expect to see another screech in this box. And there's a Jordan. Very nice. These boxes are $14.99, so they're not expensive. My dog is mowing down, man. We went on a little we went on a little ride. It's good to get out of the house. Went on a ride. I'd get my missions done in and out of the store like a lightning bolt. Stay the heck away from people. And here is a Sandy Colfax. That's a spring has sprung insert set. It's a cool set. Toro rookie. Maybe we can hit a relic or short print. Pretty tough in just two boxes. KB. It's our sticker, Mookie Betts sticker. Solar. He hit some bombs last year. So there, there it is. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. This is this has been the theme of opening day to complete these insert sets of these mascots. It's the same mascot in every box. I expect the second box, I'm not mixing these packs up. This is the first box, second box. We'll see what happens on the mascots. It is, it's been weird in that sense. It's one of the few times where Topps is a variety of, dis of distribution has not been good. I had purchased a few of these um, early when they first came out, and I was putting together complete sets and complete insert sets. Next thing you know, there's a caught a trout, and the blue is not a good one. I'm just going to put that in a sleeve. Matthew Boyd for the Tigers. Put that there. Opening day insert. Um, I was putting together complete sets and then complete insert sets. And I had like eight of one mascot and Clark the Cub, who I'm going to personal collect one of them. I didn't have any of those. And here we go. What do we got here? AJ Puck Auto. Sweet rookie autograph in a $15 box. That is very surprising. I don't care if it's even a sticker auto or not. It's a cool looking card and he's, he's uh, they've been pumping him up. So autograph and a mega box, sweet AJ Puck. I do like these mega boxes, man. It's a good one, sweet. All rise, judge. I definitely wasn't expecting an autograph. I know there's some really, really cool autographs. I would have liked a Cubs autograph, but hey man, rookie auto, I'll take it. AJ Puck. And here's a Bo Bichette. Let me look through these. Let's get the Bich Juan Soto sticker there. Let's get the Bichette. Hitting all the main rookies. I mean, I'll tell you what, for $14.99, the, the price on these, I don't buy any other product of opening day. Um, the hanger boxes, the fat packs, 
Only these mega boxes because of the reds. One red can net you some nice profit actually on value. And there's Cal Ripken. Let's keep it going. That'd be sweet if that second box had the Louis Robert. Got another blue coming up. Let's get a rookie in this. And and not bad. Ben and we'll take Ben and Tenny. There's a lot of Ben and Tenny, and there's the Red Sox. So Ben and Tendy foil. That's a good one. That's a good looking card. That goes with his uniform. Nice. And then look at this. We still have four packs to go. It's like a hundred and how many cards in this box? Like 119, I think. Yeah, it's 119. Nico Horner. Sweet. Right off the top. That'll go in my PC. I got a huge stack of Nico Horners. Hasn't been after that run of uh, big dogs with, with Gliber and Eloy Jimenez and Chris Bryant and Javier Baez. There hasn't been a good rookie um, in the Cubs. So hopefully Nico Horner can, can uh, put together a, a good year. I don't even know how much he's going to play. I get this feeling that they're going to try to keep him down and keep player control on him so they can keep the service time off. And this is considered one of the cards. So that's pretty lame. And then there's the insert. So yeah, that... One card is actually considered a card. All right, let's keep this rolling. Eloy Bellinger, insert. Okay, last one of the first box. Finishing off with not much on that side, but that was a pretty good box. Had the Benintendi blue, had the Detroit player in blue, and then uh, had the auto. I'm going to keep the Nico Horner. So five really good rookie cards in that one. That was pretty sweet. So we'll go over that at the end, but let me get this out of the way. Big old stack of base cards. Let's keep it rolling here. I was really hoping to score Bowman. It's been delayed and that for hobby. And then I saw some posts on Facebook that it hit some retail stores. So I was like, I'm gonna go check a couple stores that are close. And nothing. But if you wanna find cards, you just gotta do the grind. You gotta stop every day. Okay, so in this one, I'm going to move these up, even though I put that first one. I'm going to put those there for the inserts so we can see if the same, if the mascot does again. So Mr. Red is the first mascot. See if it happens again. Got our foil. So I think there's two blue foils per, per box, and there's... Kenley Jansen, which looks good with the blue Dodgers, but not who we're work. We're looking for that other Dodger. How about Lux in the blue? I'm going to keep that right there, see if it's true to the form. See, that's, another, that's one of the benefits of opening up the same product. You start to understand the nuances of the product. You see how, where the cards are, how they're coming out. What's in them? What's the trend? Is it good? Is it not? So there's been times where I've opened up some products and there's Bellinger sticker. There's been some times where I've started off opening up a product and I have immediately after 10 boxes have stopped. Um, and then on the flip side of that, there are products, there is a cool card. I like that's a really good looking card, Boba On the flip side of that, you can find products 
Like that's a great card. And it it's not worth much, but man, if you're if you're Blue Jays and a Boba Shet, hot rookie, that is a cool card. Um there are products that are just super awesome. Like I'll never forget 2017 Tops Archives when it came out. There okay, so we'll get back to that. So let's get down to this. On the back, I'm sure you saw it. There's Mr. Red. It makes no sense to me. Every single time. It's every single mega box. Every single time. Um, it's crazy. I don't understand it. That's why when you open up, it's good to um it's good to like open up one box and kind of look at it and then go to the second box and look at it and see what's really coming out. So here's the moose. So in 2017, when Archives came out, I opened up Hobby and Retail, and Retail was absolutely loaded with autographs. I have no idea why, but it just, they were insane, the number of autographs that were coming out of Retail. So I immediately ditched Hobby and went to Retail and pulled some, there's a Nico. Pulled some huge, huge autographs. I can't tell you how many Aaron Judge autographs I pulled out of archives from retail. Some awesome parallels. That was a crazy, crazy summer of purchasing retail. They Plus, they had the coins in it and all kinds of other stuff that was just amazing set. But yeah, keep an eye out how you're purchasing, what you're buying, what's coming out of it. You know, does it have the rookies in it? Like this year, Series 1, 2020 Series 1, awesome product. I think it's a great product. But man, and it, to get the major rookies, you have to open up a lot. So, and, and to get any color, Pete Alonzo sticker, to get any color... It's so hard. So, all right, and there we go. It, this just makes no sense to me at all. One box, four mascots, two from the same team. Makes no sense to me. So we should be having, if you can see the sequence, we should have a blue foil coming as well. Kino rookie. Oh, got to get out of sleeve. Grab a couple here. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying. You know, it's amateur hour over here. I really need to get somebody to get me in tune with uh, stepping up production level of, uh, you know, cutting some thumbnails. And there's a Jordan. Sweet cutting some thumbnails, putting some cool graphics in, maybe building a studio with a cool, get a mat, change my channel name so it's not just my name. But, you know, when I started this, I just was like, I'm opening up cards anyway, and I've always enjoyed it, open up cards, and I might as well videotape them in case I hit a huge, huge card. And uh, it's been fun. So if you're subscribed and you're watching, I appreciate it. Hopefully you're enjoying. So nothing big in that second box. So there's the inserts there. I'll do a little housekeeping. I'm usually, if I open on my own, I'm a lot, take my time. I separate the rookies right from the beginning. Um, oh, and I almost forgot the reason I bought them. The two packs of reds. Glad I did the housekeeping. Let's see what we got here. Looking, 14 total reds. There's 200 in this set. So, oh man, I thought when I flipped that over and saw the Verdugo, the Verdugo and the Lux look very similar. So looking for the big rookies in these reds, they are selling unbelievably. So Verdugo, 
AJ Puck is going to get sleeved. It's a solid one, but not one of the big five that we're looking for. Really want the Lux, the Bichette, and the Jordan. Cabrera. Tommy Edmond. Kirby Yates. And then here's the Munoz. Rookie, I'm going to sleeve it anyway, but not the rookie we're looking for. So two rookies of those seven in that pack. All right. Moving on to the last pack. See if we can get some last pack love. All right, here we go. Raphael Devers, if you're a Sox fan or a Red Sox fan, that's a cool one. Trevor Story. Soroka's a stud. Scherzer's a stud. Charlie Morton. Eddie Rosario. And that was a weak pack. Wow, that one was a bummer. So no red mojo. Let's do the recap. Let's do this and this. No Lux in this opening. Okay. Put this and this and this and this and this. Okay, let's start with three of the blues. We got Jansen, Benintendi, and Boyd in the blues. I won't show you the reds. We had the two Aquinos. The two Horners, we had a Bichette and then the insert Bichette. We got the two Jordan Alvarez's and then we had the AJ Puck. Well, let's go Munoz. And then this is a good combo right here. The red foil and then the sticker auto AJ Puck. So pretty solid for two boxes. Pretty happy to get an auto. Chances of that are pretty low. But again, thank you for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys are enjoying it and take care. Peace.